As you can see, my Asiatic lilies, they have finished blooming and they put up such a beautiful show. So many blooms, such big flowers, it was fantastic. But my work is not finished yet. I have to deadhead these flowers, I have to start fertilizing these plants so that they are ready for the next season. Hi, this is Ruchi and let's talk about how to propagate them. So you can see the flowers are all gone and then on the tip they will develop the seed. So you want to maybe just go one level down on the node and just cut it like this. And the reason is because you want the leaves and the roots to save energy instead of spending it on making the seeds because you don't want the seeds you want the plants to be healthy the bulbs should be healthy for the next season so you want to just cut off all these and then just treat it like a regular house plant keep watering and keep fertilizing it's beginning of fall and you can see that the plants have started dying i've been watering it so far but now that the plants are dying i'm going to stop watering so this is a good time that uh, we can dig up the bulbs and divide them because in a couple of months they'll sprout back again so that's what we'll do today so let's look at this container so first of all i'm going to just remove all the foliage because it's dying in any case and this there's some other plant growing here most probably kela lily so i'll try to see when i dig up these bulbs if i can separate that out the easiest way is that if you just loosen it up then it should come out easily so you can see that the roots are good and let's see if we can separate these out so this is the calla lily bulb so i'll plant it separately and here are our bulbs of asiatic lily so just gently separate them out so they have a very unique structure they almost look like flowers this is another one and from here i'll just leave it as is look at these bulbs these bulbs are very different than any other bulb that you see at least i have not seen any other bulb like this so gently just separate them out uh, because there are just too many for this one container so we can divide them into two containers so here i have one container which i have already prepared with rich organic soil so i'm going to just take a few of these so let me first empty it out a little bit because some of those bulbs are really big so like can keep one here another one they should go like 4 to 5 inches deep i'll plant a few small ones and few big ones okay so now i'm going to just fill it up now they will have more room to grow
I'm going to water it and just leave it outside where this container was. And uh, hopefully in a couple of months, they'll start to sprout back again. And then these rest of the bulbs, I'm going to plant in the original container. So I hope this video was fun for you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.